And there is Tugs Jargal. 17 years of age. National championships under her belt as we see judges from India, Hungary, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Croatia, and the United States of America scoring this one. Here's Tugs Jargal's opponent. Nazerka Sedic, 17 years of age, and a whole host of credentials on her mantelpiece, including continental title success. And the junior ranks 2019. Ravi Rai of Scotland is the referee. Round one. And we are underway. 57 kilogram featherweight action. Woman in red. Nomeen Erden Tugs Jargal. years of age facing off against a fellow 17 year old the southpaw wearing blue is the highly decorated Nazerka Serik of Kazakhstan as well as her continental success Serik comes in as the reigning national youth champion adding to the continental success that she enjoyed in 2019 where she took a junior national title that year as well Rough house tactics on the inside, but Serik keeping her composure as she had a forearm placed into her forehead from Tugs Jargal. Nice use of the legs to skip away from the attempted combination or stepping back into range with quick feet and scoring with a right-left combination. Right jab was short on the subsequent attack, but the left hand was on the money. Good use of the feet once again from Serik to cause Tugs Jargal to fall short. She's using lateral movement wonderfully, just skipping left and right, looking for her own counter. And the second left hand was a beautiful pot shot after the first one was wide of the mark. Left cross out of the southpaw stance and then whipped it down to the body. Really looks as though she's beginning to find the range now against her Mongolian opponent. Both boxers with single shot successes during that exchange. Fencing with the lead hand continues with two minutes gone in the round. Serik cutting a very relaxed figure indeed, employing the layback to good effect just to make her opponent miss. Oh, beautiful counter left hand from Serik, but she was met by a left jab in response as she tried to get out of harm's way. This time she leads off. Right jab, left cross combination success. Or to Jaga for Serik, who's going down to the body effectively as well. And looking for the right hand there was to Jaga. She feels that she had success because she raised that right glove in acknowledgement of the punch that she thought landed as a scoring shot. Left hand not too far away from Serik. Beautiful right hand around the corner from Serik. It was long, but the arm was bent. Oh, and boxing after the belt was Tugs Jargal. Serik not interested in re retaliating. First round in the book. Confirmation that it has been swept unanimously in favor of Serik. Very good display from the Southpaw in the opening round. So some of the action from that first three minutes. Serik getting onto the front foot. But also, as well as leading off, she was also content to wait. 
And there's a beautiful left hand out of the south force stance. She did get picked off by a left hand in return. Very good reflexes in evidence from Serik Second over the course of that opening round. And on that occasion, leading off the score with the right jab. Round two. So to the second round then. The first round taken unanimously by the Kazakhstan boxer in blue. Out of a full-strength Kazakhstan boxing team. Ten women, ten men. And as mentioned previously, there's a good left jab score to the body by Tugs Jargal. There is such a fantastic tradition of Aiba and Olympic-style boxing in that Central Asian nation. Mongolia, highly accomplished nation as well, of course. And Tukjagal clearly knows what she's doing, but again, at this type of pace, as evidence there, it's Serik who was able to have the greatest success. And I just wonder, has Tukjagal got to do something different? Because when she's allowed to box on her own terms, Serik, she's proving to be the better operator. Tukjagal is having moments of success, but mostly they're being nullified and met by stiff counters like that right cross, like that right jab out of the south paw stance. Even during that exchange, it was two for one in favor of the boxer in blue. So I wonder what can Tuks Jargal do differently? Shaping up effectively, moving around the ring nicely. But when the exchanges occur, when they're in range, it's generally the boxer in blue who's having the better of them. Nice left jab was a scoring shot from Tuks Jargal. Shots exchanged. Right hand was a landing shot for Tugs Jargal. Nice right jab, snaked out by Serik. Again, I just left with the impression that Tugs Jargal has got to be busier than she's demonstrated so far in this second round. Here's a nice long looping left landed by the boxer in red. It seems to be Serik who is controlling the distance and the tempo of this bout just as she moved in there to score with a bent arm backhand. Left landing half hook, half uppercut while her elbow was still cocked. Beautiful left hand to the body and right hook upstairs landed by Serik. Oh, that's a beautiful left cross followed by a right hand from Serik. Firing those punches from around her belt line and again, took Jargal landing scoring shots in that exchange. But for my money, it is Serik, who is getting the better of these exchanges here. And she's the one dictating the territory in which they occur and the time at which they occur. She appears to be in pretty good control. 10-9 for the second straight round. Zerka Serik. The two-point lead for all five of the scoring judges. So some of the action then from the second round. Both boxers moving around the ring in light-footed fashion. But look at that. Terrific left cross, not set up by a right hand, straight down the pipe. Scoring shot. One that got the attention of the boxer in red. Second out. <laughs> round three. So as we move into the third and final round, the boxer in red, Nomin Erdin Tukjagal has got it all to do. She's conceded the opening two rounds, 10-9 for all five of the judges. Walked onto a beautiful, stiff right-hand lead by Serik once again. To Jaga, well, she's in with an accomplished operator in the form of 
former European Youth Champion of the 2019 Youth Champion as she gets through with a left cross once again. It was countered by a left jab from Tug Jargal. These exchanges just indicative as to the tenor in which this bout has been fought. Uh, when Serik's back came onto the rope, she was picked off by two punches from Tug Jargal. She needs more of that type of success without reply. Beautiful left cross once again. Serik looking so relaxed up there in the boxing ring. Not disrupted, not taken out of, all, of her rhythm or flow. And look at how she's able to use the space of the ring. Float backwards towards the ropes, now back to the comfort of center ring, making her opponent miss. Took Jarg out, employed good movement to make sure that she wasn't counted. But it's Tugs Jargal upon whom the onus is to do something different here because she's the one trailing by 2018 for all five of the judges. So we're beyond the midpoint of the third and final round. Good left hand whipped into the body by Serik. Right hand success to the body from Tugs Jargal. Again, Tugs Jargal. Having success in these exchanges, but she didn't have the final word there. A beautiful left hand shot out from around the belt line before Serik went walkabout to increase the distance between her and her rival. A terrific punch picking from the boxer in blue. Jargal just hasn't been able to produce the quality she needs without reply. If she bids to go through to the round of 16. 18 boxers contesting this weight class. It's the first outing for both of these two operators. Poonam in the previous bout boxed in the first preliminary round, the round of 32 on the opening day of Kielta 2021. Well, unable to produce the stoppage that, or the huge third round that she would have needed to get back on terms, let alone ahead. It is Serik who will be progressing through to the round of 16. This is the round of 16, so through to the quarterfinals. After prevailing here. We see some of the action from the third and final round. Tugs Jargao just not able to up the tempo as she needed to do after the first two went against her. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is Blue Corner Serik Nazerke, Kazakhstan. And there's confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Nazerke Serik. Final round scored 10 8 for the judge from Croatia. A very good display indeed of relaxed punch picking from the Southpaw. Here's confirmation of the 10 8 round on the scorecard of Naeem Ramaj. Took Jargal. Accomplished operation.